The first part to be assembled is the payload. It's the mission part of the satellite. It's very purpose for being in orbit. The payload is like the heart of your satellite. So this specific payload is a comms payload. It's used for communication. It's gonna bring internet connectivity to the whole world. The payload contains thermal sensors, power cables, and all the essential electrical systems needed to deliver internet connectivity from space. Even here in Florida, if you go a little bit towards Orlando, there's swamp. And you can't even get a signal on your phone because there's no cell phone tower. And you can't run ground fiber to get you internet. So now you have a satellite that's gonna come over that area and it's gonna beam to your user terminal. And now, voila, you have internet. And that kind of connectivity could transform major areas of the globe. In Europe, in countries like Germany and the UK, over 90% of people already have internet access. It's the same story in America. But in China, although growing fast, that number is only 60%. In India, it's under 50. And in the least served parts of Africa, less than one in 10 people are online. Currently, most of us get online through a network of fiber optic cables or mobile antennae. But connecting remote areas in this way would be very expensive. And that means huge parts of our world remain internet-free zones. Now, satellites promise to change all that. Back at the factory, and the onboard propulsion module is the second part of the satellite to be assembled. The module, at the rear of the satellite, allows engineers on Earth to control its movement and position in space. When a satellite goes up on the rocket, the rocket only carries it so far. The propulsion system is designed to take it where it's been dropped off and move it up to its final orbit. Once in space, the satellites will be traveling at 17,000 miles per hour, 22 times the speed of sound. This speed, along with the pull of gravity, will keep them orbiting Earth approximately once every 90 minutes. And when they reach the end of their functioning lives, they have an ingenious way of self-destruction. We save some propellant at the very end, so when we come to the end of life, we take the satellite and we'll deorbit it, we'll slow it down and let it come back down, and then it'll burn up as it comes out of orbit, helping to keep the orbital space all clean. It's being a good steward of space. There are already satellites in orbit providing internet service, but they're 23,000 miles away. The signal from that distance takes a long time to reach Earth, resulting in slow connection speeds. OneWeb's constellation will be just 750 miles up, meaning faster internet. Each satellite will transmit a signal similar to that from a cell phone mast, but over a much bigger area. And with a constellation of 648 of them in space, they'll be able to get even some of the most remote parts of our world online. To get so many into orbit, one web satellite has to act fast. And it set itself a target of getting two made in a day. An ambition that's required a revolution in how satellites are manufactured. In the past with space, we build from circuit board up. And here, what we've done is we really relied a lot on our suppliers. We've given them a design, we've given them requirements, we say, give us what we need. So this is really an assembly plant. One of those suppliers is just 10 miles down the road, Ruag Space, one of the biggest space technology manufacturers in the world. Here, they're making the five lightweight aluminum panels that will form the body of the satellite, inside of which the satellite's internal components are housed. No one is doing what we are doing here. We are the first company that's actually doing mass production satellite fabrication of panel structures. To make those panels, a lightweight aluminum honeycomb mesh is sandwiched between two layers of high-grade aluminum sheeting which is then heated to seal it together. Wow. 
What comes out is a very strong but lightweight body part for a satellite. 